Hey, Hound Dogs, I'm David Hankins. And I'm Paul Hankins. And you're on the air with Power Squared. No guests this week, just the two of us talking about uh, an issue that we're working on currently, issue number 25. Yes. And it's called? Yuki Ono. And it's something that you wrote. Yes. Um, so tell us uh, tell us about this. Where did you get the idea for the story? Well, we I noticed a general lack of uh, yokai-focused issues. Uh, since that's that became a more major story element, uh, so and I was also trying to think of something more action oriented. Char mm-hmm. uh, and I had the idea, got the idea to do two uh, simultaneous uh, storylines, concurrent, yeah, yeah, uh, where Ordy and Eli have their own adventure that are adventures that are occurring at the same time. So it also uh, mean that also shows the effects of them trying to use their powers at the same time, mm-hmm. uh, which they can't do. Yeah. So unless it's a power the only only they have. Yeah. So I took for the story. I took a little inspiration from uh, JoJo Part Five, okay. uh, Golden Wind, specifically uh, the. Uh, white album arc okay uh both the manga version and the anime version okay. uh, and that also happens to be one of my uh favorite fights in the series okay uh so i realize uh, yuki ona is a yokai that's associated with ice okay. uh and has been depicted in uh, various different forms uh in japanese uh media so I thought about playing around with that. Okay. And that's how I arrived at the story. Okay, so what was about this fight in JoJo's that was your favorite fight? What makes it that? Um, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like uh, analyzing the deeper no, just, stuff of JoJo, but uh, the what's cool about it is uh, for uh Jorno and Mista, that's a really good uh, uh, showcase of how well they end up working together. Uh, like, they end up trusting one another. Uh, Gacho is a really entertaining uh, villain. Uh, and his uh, stand, White Album, or White Ice in the localization, uh, is a very unique and interesting ability because uh, he can. Uh, freeze uh, he can yeah he controls ice uh, but he can also freeze uh, the world around him to the point where he alters the uh, states of matter okay um, and there's it's a very it's also very tense uh, because of how Mista Mista does a lot of the heavy lifting in the fight mm-hmm. but uh, he uh, figures out Yacho's weakness and tries to exploit it but then it doesn't work so he has to try to exploit it a different way mm-hmm. and then it finally works and then when Giorno uh, helps uh, defeat Yacho it's very satisfying mm-hmm. uh, and a lot of elements just come together really well there okay. um, so that was the inspiration for the fight in the yeah in the book um, where did you get the idea for, um, you know, the, the character, I mean, this, you're not using a, you're using a, a woman instead yeah. of a guy, right? Yeah. So, um, where did you get the idea for her? Uh, when I was, uh, trying to think of what yokai would be interesting for a story, uh, that I had heard of the Yukiona and that kind of just came to me really quickly uh and uh part of that uh inspiration was uh uh yumi from the uh senron kagura series okay uh specifically uh her as she has a personality that's that could kind of match that okay uh and uh wasn't really too much 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> it just okay. kind of came to me. It's for the writing process. Yeah. Um, did you go through a lot of drafts of this, or was this like first time, boom, it's great? Uh, well, I had to go through a couple of drafts of the outline because uh, I was trying to get the fight down and uh, having it all make sense and fit uh, what we had established with Power Squared and also trying to figure out how to play around with uh, the ele those elements while also introducing intru planting something at the end that could come up in a future story if we needed it. Okay. Then when I was doing the script, I was like, how do I make this fit in 20 pages? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a uh, trick. So I ended up having to uh, condense or take out some things from the outline to make it fit. Okay. So um, Yukiona is is that that's the yokai? Yeah. Okay. And, and is that the character's name in the story? Uh, well, to fit with the coffee theme that we've been <laughs> giving the yokai characters, a Jar uh, and I actually kind of went kind of collaborated on this part. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, we landed on the name Affogato, which is an Italian coffee-based dessert. <laughs> okay. That's yes. her name. Yeah, okay. Affogato. All right, and so while Marty's busy f fighting her, uh, Eli is busy <laughs> fighting... A uh, Gasha Dokoro. Okay, and that does that have a character name? Uh, is it just skeleton guy? <laughs> well, its name doesn't. If it has a name, it wasn't said. Right, so. okay. So there's no coffee name. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, that was just sort of, you know, just happened with Mocha. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so so these two happened at the same time. Yeah. Uh, are, and this is the, these are the first two uh, issues that our new artist, yes. Julia Cannon, has worked on. Yeah. Um, and we were, the idea is we were going to try to show some of the work that she's done but we can't make that work yeah we uh, couldn't figure out how to make that work in time so. right so we're gonna have to sort of go with some concepts yeah so uh this happens on the campus of san, Rom san romero community college yes i feel like that's a mouthful every time you have to say it uh and uh marty is showing her around yeah the campus and so she's a the age she presents is about 18, you know, 17, 18. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it's like whatever age the main characters are. Yeah, they're about 17. Well, that's about yeah. the time you go to community college. Which yeah. That's great. All right. Late teens. What? Well, late teens. <laughs> okay. So, and so she's talked, Marty is showing around. So let's yeah. talk about, uh, she's a schoolgirl. Yeah. So do we have a, you had a concept for the schoolgirl. Yeah. And this is not uh, the final. No. But we wanted to actually try to show something, so. Yeah. Uh, so, again, going with Yumi from Saran Kagura. Okay. Uh, I wanted to have uh, that. I liked her style of uniform, so mm -hmm. I wanted something in that ballpark. Because uh, it also, you can see a little bit of the you know, sailor suit influence still right. in there. But, uh, you know, so I like a more proper attire right so this so we're depicting her as a in a japanese school uniform basically because yeah. that's not something that's that there are uniforms here but they're not as i would say as developed as those yeah it's more like having matching shirts and same colored jeans yeah <laughs> so her cover story i believe is that she's a new like she's a new foreign <laughs> student right because uh, i know Colleges have uh, foreign student programs. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You yeah, always want because uh, part of it is they have to pay out of state tuition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're looking for that. Okay. So, so that gave a more natural. And so uh, Julia's come up with some concepts of this, which we can't show, but um, basically keeping with the schoolgirl theme. Yeah. All right. So then, of course, another aspect of it is the Yukiona transformation. Right. Uh, like her, or her true form. Uh, okay, so I'm just hoping uh, either Twitch doesn't do anything to us over this, or uh, YouTube doesn't 
Yeah. There's, there's... We, our videos aren't monetized right at the moment anyway, but you know, you don't want to see the the yellow uh, dollar sign. <laughs> but these aren't really. This isn't. You know, it's it's racy, but it's not. There's no nudity involved in this. No. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, or I guess suggestive might be know, the better word. I think that's. Uh, but anyway, so again, going off of uh, Yumi, but this time her Shinobi transformation. Uh huh. Uh, because of the how it deal, she's sort of based on the her Shinobi form is based on the Yukiona in a sense. Okay. So, and she uses a lot of ice powers. Mm hmm. So, uh, I just thought of that as a there are various iterations of the uh design this one and they managed to get somehow more suggestive as it goes on right but uh this one uh also is dynamic okay. visually now um yeah so we haven't really dealt too much with um this kind of material before right um which nothing against doing it obviously um so it, yeah, so it sounds like kind of more of a, I'll say, mature theme right. than we've, met, we've had before, which is perfectly fine. Uh, well, it's fine. <laughs> if like we're the, hiding. Said that. <laughs> well, it's fine if the final version is more like tasteful. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, that's so that's that was just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> right. It was that was the yeah. You have to have something to, to base it on. Yeah. Right. Okay. So this is being worked on now. Yes. Uh, we really have, what, I'll say a solid five pages. Yeah. There's like three that still need some work. Yeah. Um, and this will probably be the last of the uh, issues that are worked on this year. Yes. Because it's going to probably take a year to get them done. And uh, I'm guessing these will be out in 25. 2025 <laughs> probably yeah so something to look forward to yeah. um but that's kind of how f we're trying to work ahead and we're trying to have you know st you know stuff that we can rely on later yeah right so it's perfectly perfectly cool all right uh so anything else you want to say about the story uh i'm not sure exactly <laughs> okay uh I guess uh, I don't know. Hoping it comes out well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, and I think the idea was we might do a uh, we're, we want to do a Kickstarter next year and have it be sort of a trade uh, for uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. But we also may throw this in as well yeah. as the newest issue. So hopefully. It'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure on Julia to come up with something good. But anyway, all right. So anything else? Uh, I think that's about it. Okay. Uh, just want to point ahead. Next week, we're going to be having our comic book club. So if you're watching, uh, it's going to be this book. Yes, Ray Ren, Beyond yeah. Journey's End. And uh, so uh, if you want to read along, it's uh, book one. So... Hopefully, uh, you want to tune in for that. And then after that, we're having our team meeting at the end of the month. Yes. Or, yeah, 29. So that's pretty much the end of the month. All uh, right. I was also given a correction. The Gastrodokuro uh, doesn't have a coffee name because he doesn't have a human disguise. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you know, he's a skeleton. Yeah. Uh, never leave, leave, uh, being too, uh, giving too much away with that. Right. Uh, so... Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube uh, and you like this, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, comment Yuki Ono. <laughs> yes, and we hope you'll want to uh, look forward to this issue coming out, yeah. as I say, probably 2025 yeah. at this rate. All right, so until next time, I'm David Hankins. I'm Paul Hankins. And you've been on the air with Power Squared.